Riders to the Sea by John Millington Sinzi, better known as J. M. Sinzi, was a significant dramatist of the Irish Revival. If we want to trace the origin of the play, we can say that Riders to the Sea is the play that springs most directly out of Sinzi's life on the Aran Islands, situated at the Galway Bay. During the course of his stay at the Aran Islands, he de detected gentling poetry in the everyday speech of the people and it helped him to make the play Riders to the Sea as a successful poetry drama. The title of the play. The title of G. M. Singh's Riders to the Sea is quite significant as it suggests the principal theme of the play, namely the conflict between man and the sea. Though the term riders in the title refers to the fifth and sixth song of Moria, but when we go through the play, we find that her husband, father-in-law, four sons were the riders and became the prey of the cruel sea. Not only her family members, but all husbands and sons of all other Moria are very similar riders to the sea, which remains very much living in the background. In this one act play, Moria is the central character who lives in a cottage on Aran Island with her two daughters, Kathleen and Nora, and only living son named Bertley. Once upon a time, she had a complete family with husband, father-in-law and five sons, but everybody except Butler were killed in the sea. A few days before Michael has been drowned, Moria still believes that his body will be washed ashore. Nora, her daughter, is given the shirt and plain stocking removed from a body of drowned man in Donzil by the priest. Bertley is determined to go to the Galway Fair to sell horses. Moria forbids, but he goes out. Then Moria foretells that she will not see him again. However, she is given the cake to give to Bertley at Springwell when he will pass it. She goes out. After a departure, two sisters, Kathleen and Nora, examine the shirt and stockings and become sure it is of Michael by its stitches and material. Moria comes back and tells that she has seen Butley on the red horse and followed by Michael on grey pony. She declares that Butley must die in the sea. Then a number of men is seen carrying the dead body of Butley who has been knocked into the sea by the grey pony. She accepts the situation calmly and sprinkles water on the dead body and on Michael's shirt and stocking. She realizes that no man can be living forever. In this one, the chief protagonist in the play Riders to the Sea is Moria, an old fisherwoman who had lost all her male family members. Through her tragic life, the dramatist tries to present the tragedy and sufferings of the people whose life is controlled by ruthless fate, which is presented in this play by the unrelenting sea. Now, the theme of the play. James Inge's Riders to the Sea is a tragedy that presents a world in which death is very common and life only symbolizes people's helpless and pathetic surrender to the unrelenting cruel sea which they cannot keep away for it is the principal source of their living. Moria, the central character in the play Riders to the Sea, struggles against the mighty forces with her stoic endurance and becomes a universal mother figure.